everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this holiday party makeup look and I'm also collaborating with Nicole Matthews here on YouTube. She is going to be doing a holiday makeup tutorial as well but it's going to be a sugar plum fairy inspired makeup look I believe. But anyway, I will be linking her video down below and you can definitely watch her video after mine or I'll put it on the screen right here so you guys can go ahead and click on it. I'm also going to be using Fact 10 brushes for this makeup tutorial. Um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but I will be using their brushes for this makeup tutorial so make sure you guys check their brushes out. I'll also leave that down below in the description box as well if you want to purchase them. So without further ado, let's get into the makeup tutorial. So first off, I always start off by moisturizing my face with the Aveeno Clear Complexion Daily Moisturizer. This helps to keep my skin um, less dry and ready for the makeup. I'm also going to be moisturizing my lips with the EOS Lip Balm and this is the purple color one. Now I'm going to start off with the full face foundation using the Fax 10 brushes, which are right here. And today I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD sample that I got from Sephora. I know this is a sample, but I haven't gotten the full size version of it yet because I wanted to try it out and I'm probably liking it right now. So I'm going to use that and dot that all over my face. And I'm going to blend everything with this brush. And this is the multi-functional flat brush, blending liquid or cream products onto flat areas of the face, such as the forehead and cheeks. Next, I'm going to be applying some concealer, and I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade number 10. And I'm just going to um, dot that all over my blemishes that I have, as well as my under eyes my chin and forehead as well as my temples. I'm going to be blending my concealer under my eyes with this brush and this one is Ultra Precise Foundation Brush, best for concealing the under eyes and nose areas which are hard to reach. Now to set my foundation and concealer, I'm going to be setting it with the uh, Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and I'm going to be using this brush which is a powder brush buffed powder foundation application for blending mineral products onto the skin. I'm actually going to be concealing my under eyes just a little bit like closer to my eye area so that I am able to test out this brush and blend it underneath. So to blend the concealer out, I'm going to be using the number 10 Flame Smudge Brush. Exact placement of concealer on harder to reach areas such as around the eyes and nose, chin and around the mouth. This one actually does a really good job at getting those hard to get areas. Now I'm going to be doing my eyebrows. So I'm going to be using both the Perfect Eyebrow Pencil by Absolute New York as well as the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. So using the Absolute New York Eyebrow Pencil, I'm going to be shaping my eyebrows and then using the Anastasia Beverly Hills, I'm going to be using that to fill in my eyebrows. Now moving on to the eyes, I'm going to be applying the eyeshadow primer and today I'm going to be using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance 24 Hour Anti-Crease Eyeshadow Primer. And I'm going to be applying that all over my lids and this helps to keep the eyeshadow look last long throughout the night or as so it says, 24 hours. I kind of forgot to do my contour, so I'm actually going to be using this angled brush and using the Too Faced Beach Bunny Bronzer and apply that all over my cheekbones, my temples, and my forehead. I don't think I'm going to be applying some blush because I'm <laughs> kind of already blushing, but uh, I'm going to be starting with my eye look and today I'm going to be using the Too Faced Natural Eyes palette. So I'm going to be using this white color shade and applying that all over my lid as a base color so that the colors will pop out and have a clean canvas on my eyes. Once that is done, I'm going to be applying the shade Nudie and it's this light brown color and I'm going to be applying it to the top of my crease as a transition color. Once I have defined my crease, I'm going to be applying this dark brown shade right here called erotica and doing that to the outer parts of my eye. Then taking a clean fluffy brush, I'm going to be blending everything out so that nothing looks too harsh. Now I'm going to be using the Stila palette that I have and this is the Rocky Road Trio palette. So I'm going to be taking this darkish maroonish brown color and applying that to the outer parts of my eye as well. And of course, 
blending that out again. Now I'm going to be taking the ColourPop Cosmetic in the Super Shock Shadow and this one is called Un by the Gen M Collection and I'm going to be taking my ring finger and applying that all over my lid for this shimmery eyeshadow look. I'm also going to be applying that in the inner corner of my eye as well to help brighten the eye makeup look. To tie the look together, I'm going to be taking the darker um, brown shade on this palette and applying that on my lower lash line. So I'm going to be applying some eyeliner and I'm going to be using the Sailor Moon eyeliner which is my most favorite one currently. So I'm just going to be doing my usual basic wing eyeliner. I was actually able to do my wing eyeliner on camera this time. I'm so proud of myself. Now I'm going to be applying mascara and I'm going to be using the Too Faced Feather Feather. Better than sex mascara and I'm not going to curl my lashes this time because my eyelashes actually don't stay curled when I do curl them. So I'm just going to apply the mascara directly onto my eyelashes. Of course, you cannot forget some highlights. So I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Paris True Match Lumi Liquid Glow Illuminator Highlight. And I'm going to be applying that to the tops of my apples, which is above my bronzer, my nose, as well as my cupid's bow. And last but not least, to tie this holiday makeup look together, I'm going to be applying some lipstick. I'm going to be using the Melted Chocolate by Too Faced um, Liquid Fine Long Wear Lipstick. And this one is in the Flavor Chocolate Milkshake or color chocolate milkshake, I don't know. It tastes pretty good too, so. I'm also going to be applying some lip gloss and I'm going to be using the Booksum lip gloss over my matte lipstick. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I had a really fun time filming this and I think I slightly improved on my makeup tutorial looks uh, or my makeup skills, but other than that, be sure to check out Nicole Matthews' video as well. Again, I'll be leaving it down below in the description box as well as uh, Fact 10 brushes if you're interested in purchasing from them. I absolutely love these brushes. They blend so nicely on my skin and I'm actually pretty surprised. And of course, if you're ever lost on what these brushes do, they also come with a mini pamphlet um, that comes with the brush kit. So make sure you guys get yourself one. And thank you guys again for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below, which is that red box right there, as well as a big thumbs up if you want to see more makeup tutorial videos. Definitely leave a comment down below on what video you would like to see next on my channel and I'll see you guys all next time with another brand new video. Bye!